Uh, just keep making history, Simone Biles. Simone Biles has once again tumbled her way into the record books. The first woman ever to land a triple-double in competition on the floor exercise during last week's U.S. Gymnastics Championships. Simone's got enough gold medals at home. Someone give this girl a crown. That move coming just one day after she landed a jaw-dropping double-double dismount on the balance beam. The first time that's ever happened in competition. Biles took to Instagram to share her excitement. That feeling when you make history twice. The victory marked Biles' sixth U.S. championship win and her 20th consecutive all-around win, dating back to 2013. Simone's return to competition after her spectacular performance at the 2016 Olympic Games has been a mix of highs and lows. Earlier this month, she took aim at USA Gymnastics, blasting the organization for enabling former team doctor Larry Nasser to sexually abuse her and hundreds of other young athletes. They couldn't do one damn job. You had one job. You literally had one job and you couldn't protect us. The head of USA Gymnastics responding during last week's competition. This organization has let down many people, including Simone. And historically, the organization has silenced gymnasts and that time is no more. But with just one year to go until the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo, the 22-year-old remains focused on being the best. And as the most decorated American gymnast in history, Biles debuted a new leotard with the design of a goat on the back. G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time. And who would dispute it? Simone Biles is here right now. Good morning. It's nice <laughs> to see you. Thank you, you too. Every time you're here, and I've interviewed you a few times, I always ask you the same thing. I say, are you human? And you say that you are, and then you go and do some incredible superhuman <laughs> feat. How did it feel to walk off that floor last week, yeah. making history? Mm -hmm. It felt incredible. Um, no female has ever done that skill before, but for me, I had trained it for a while now, so it was kind of just normal for me, but looking back at the videos, it doesn't look normal, and I know it's not normal. I know. Do you have any idea when you're doing that stuff that it's just going to go super viral? I mean, first, you know, it, the routine goes viral, then they put it in slow motion, yeah. then we really need to put it in extreme slow motion to really, really grasp what yeah. you just pulled <laughs> off. Yeah, I actually had no idea how viral it was going to go. I thought that... Nothing was really going to happen. I knew I was going to be the first female to do it. And then after that, I was going to be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Because not <laughs> too many people pay attention to gymnastics, especially in a non-Olympic year. So it was crazy to see how viral it went. And it just kept like accumulating and it's still going so it's kind of crazy <laughs> well you are hilariously humble because of course we're paying attention that's what happens mm -hmm. when you're setting records and making history <laughs> and pushing the sport like you do how important is it to you mm -hmm. not just to to win medals but to do things that have literally never been done mm-hmm um, it's kind of crazy, but, you know, in and out of the gym, I try to push myself and see how much I can do. And I guess that results in breaking a lot of records. It does. It, now, I think I read that some <laughs> of these things you actually started talking about like years ago, some of these mm -hmm. moves that we saw last weekend. Yes. And I never thought a lot of the moves would be feasible until I started um, training once I came back from taking like a year and a half off and then now I'm competing them and I never thought in a million years that some of my dream skills I would be able to compete. You already have a couple of um, moves that I think are named after you. <laughs> What's better mm -hmm. getting a gold medal at the Olympics or getting something named after you because both seem <laughs> really great. <laughs> yes but I feel like since it gets named after you, it'll be in the books forever, and hopefully more athletes will want to try it, and I think that's super exciting. You drive yourself so hard. I noticed, um, and I think it was the first night of competition, you didn't like how one of the routines went, and it's you don't have a <laughs> poker face. We could tell you were not yeah. happy. Where does that fire come from, mm -hmm. that, that burning desire to just be excellent? Yeah. Mm hmm because I feel like now if I go out and do what I'm supposed to do, I should come out top three. So I, I just really upset myself whenever I don't compete how I train and I don't give the performance that I want to. So I just get really frustrated. Mm. I hate to even ask you about the troubles facing USA Gymnastics because the focus is mm -hmm. and it should be 
on your incredible accomplishments, but you gave such an emotional and powerful mm -hmm. answer the other day, and it really struck me that, yeah. you know, while you're doing everything you're doing in your sport, you're also healing, and you're doing mm -hmm. both at the same time. Yes. What has this journey been mm -hmm. for you? Oh goodness, I feel like it's been a roller coaster. Um, a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but you know, coming back, I'm doing this just for me, and I think that's different than the last time around. For me, I feel like I have nothing to prove to anyone, so I think that's what keeps me in the sport besides love and passion. And you saw what the USA Gymnastics, the new president, had to say after your comments. Mm -hmm. was, that, was that enough mm -hmm. for you? Do you feel like they're doing the right things now? Um, <laughs> Um, I don't know. I feel like you can always talk the talk, but you have to show up and you have to prove and you just have to do your job at the end of the day. And it would almost be better if you just prove to everyone rather than talking because talking is easy. Mm. Let's talk about another project you're doing, and I love this. You're teaching a master class mm -hmm. oh. in gymnastics, which yes. is great because my somersault really needs some work. But um, how, who is this class for <laughs> and what are you going to do? Yes. Yes. So the class is for all ages. Um, it goes from beginner to intermediate to advanced to what all the way I'm doing. But we're teaching the fundamentals of gymnastics on all four events. So it will go from basics to skills um, and drills as well. So it's really exciting. So I hope all ages can tune in and um, See how it goes. All right, and I another thing I always ask you is what you're doing for fun in your life. How's that cute boyfriend? We see your pics yeah. on Instagram. Is everything good? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Yes, he's great. I love him. <laughs> oh, well, your smile just lights up the world, Simone. You 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 make us talk about thank gymnastics you. all year long, even when it's not an Olympics mm -hmm. year, because you're so good oh. and you make us proud. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.